How to get on the property ladder. No one said it's gonna be easy, but with this handy guide, it's gonna help you along the way. You wanna stop renting. You're in a position to buy your first home. You're working, you've got some savings, you've got your deposit. Here's how it works and some advice. So finally, you want your own place and you need to know how the process works. Well, let me talk you through. Before we go any further, don't forget, click and subscribe below. We're gonna give you loads of tips if you're buying, renting, you're investing, anything property related, you're gonna get it on this channel. And don't forget, follow us on Insta, Facebook, all the other socials, and you're gonna get these hints on a daily basis. Okay, so let's make this simple as possible. Right. As soon as you start, you're gonna to need to know how much you can borrow. So, for example, if you're earning 25,000, your partner's earning 25,000, combined you're earning 50,000 a year, banks are gonna lend you around about four or five times that. So you know you can start looking at a property for about 200, 250,000. Where are you gonna get that mortgage from? You're gonna get it from a bank, you're gonna get it from a mortgage lender, you can get that advice, you can get it from an estate agent. Down here at Red Door Homes, we have a mortgage advisor, we're happy to put you in touch. When you start looking for a property, look for what's gonna sue you. Maybe what's gonna sue you for the next five years. Find something that's in a good area, you're gonna have some good capital growth. Might have great train links into London. At the moment, you know, we got some great stuff, we're based here in Rochester in Kent. So when you're looking for a house, look for a house that's gonna sue you for the next five, six years. Something that's gonna allow you to grow in an area that's gonna have good capital growth, so it's gonna increase in value. And that's gonna be an area that's maybe gonna become a hotspot. Prime example, Rochester here in Kent. We're an hour from London, and it's one of the only places where you can buy a property for under 200,000 pounds. Make sure you register with estate agents. Don't rely on the likes of Rightmove and Zoopla and On The Market. Register with these guys. You know, we get properties that come on the market all the time. They may not make it onto Rightmove because we'll match it out. We'll match it to people who are registered, people who are in a good position, who have their financing in place. You're gonna get that first, so make sure you register. Do not, I repeat, do not rely on Rightmove and Zoopla and on the market. You're gonna get it from the agents. And build a relationship, call them weekly. Let them know you're still looking, you're active. If they know that you're active and they know that you're looking, you're gonna be right on their hot list and they're gonna find you that all important house. Now, you're gonna have to go and view it. Go and view the house, have a look around, take some time, don't rush it. But when you see the house and it's right for you, make sure you get that offering. Because everybody that goes, I'm gonna sleep on it overnight, well the people who viewed it yesterday, they slept last night and they're gonna put that offer in. And once the offer's agreed, you're not even gonna get a look in. So make sure you know the area, you've looked at all the schools, everything that's important to you, view the house, then put that offer in. Another handy tip. This one, it's a bit of a secret, but be nice, be polite, be courteous to the estate agents. Don't forget, they work for the vendor, so that's the seller. However, if you're really rude to them, you don't turn up on time, you don't respect their time, they're not gonna respect you. You want them working with you, and the more courteous, the polite, the nicer you are, the more chance that you have of getting that dream home. Finally, the important key to this is a solicitor. So you'll probably get recommended from a mortgage lender, you'll get recommended by the estate agents. In my experience, in my opinion, I would go with the one that's recommended by the estate agent. The estate agent is the one who progresses the sale. So you need to know that they have a relationship with the solicitor, one that they talk to, one that will answer their phone, one that will go above and beyond for that service. And as an estate agent, if you're recommending business to these solicitors, they work hard for you. Two out of three deals will fall down because the solicitor is not doing their job. So be sure to use a solicitor that is recommended by your estate agent. Okay, so there's just a short video on a few of the pointers of what you need to do. Some of them may be obvious, but there's lots of first time buyers out there or people that bought 20, 30 years ago. This isn't a regular thing. And I think we take it for granted that everybody knows the process and knows what's going on. We here at Red Door Homes know you don't know the process. So we're here to help you every step of the way. And don't forget, we have hundreds of properties that are available or can be available if we know what you're looking for. So give us a call, stop in, have a coffee, but register with us. And if you're looking to buy, then give us a call for a friendly chat. Links below, subscribe for more, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.